got on the Heat Magazine Best Business Books list, which is cool. So it's just the first part of, I got five parts outlined, and this one's on building business, so it's on visions and mission statements and guiding principles. And this is really when Sean and, and Tim came to Ann Arbor, you know, it's around a lot of this stuff, and it's just sort of our way of doing business, which uh, actually I'm writing the intro for the, the next book, and uh, there's an actual very interesting hog farmer in South Carolina named Emil D. Felice. And he's going to be up at Camp Bacon, too, and uh, we're going to show a little documentary film. Did Michael Collins talk about it? Michael Collins did, yeah. He's, yeah. he's quite an interesting guy. Uh, we're going to show a little documentary film that Joe York from Southern Foodways makes these amazing documentaries, and he made one on Emil D. Felice, and it's him and his girlfriend tangoing, uh, interwoven with the stories of his hogs. It's really quite interesting. Anyway, Emil D. Felice in this film, he says, well, He's, he's very traditional, organic, you know, farmer. So he says, well, you know, when I really, the great thing about the way I work is when I don't know what to do, I just look at what industry does and I do the opposite. <laughs> so when he said that, I was like, well, that's not exactly that reactive, but it's kind of true for us. Like, basically, whatever everybody else does, we do the opposite. So open book finance is basically instead of the way everybody's trained, which is to hide all the numbers and hide the finances, we, this is actually about turning it upside down and requiring the employees to actually learn the finances and making that part of their job. So that's really what all this is about. And uh, just with these last two books, uh, we actually went back off the grid. I sort of got tired of the big publishing houses. So we did, we did all the design ourselves um, and it printed in Ann Arbor on nicer paper. Uh, the bacon book is the old foil stamping. But it's just the idea of going back to books the way they used to be that actually feel good in your hand and not on Amazon. We're mindfully off the grid. Uh, to try to do books and sell books in a way that's congruent with the food that these guys are selling and serving y'all tonight and that we're doing. So, uh, so that's really where they're at. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions, but I don't want to bore you. Either. Sir? Yeah, what was your biggest mistake in doing My biggest? Well, I'm not big on ranking. We've made so many, it's hard to <laughs> even come close. I, you know, have you ever come to the idea that it's totally bottom in? I figure I recover, you know, Paul taught me in early on that uh, success was mostly about recovering from failure with some modicum of grace. And uh, I, I kind of go with that. So, I, you know, I think that the illusion of the world is that, like, there's these success stories and that they just got it together and they go. But I think most of us are mostly kind of screwing up and kind of succeeding and that it's only when historians look at it later that they tell you how together everybody was. But like, I mean, more power to Bill Gates or whatever, but nobody talks about like how many computers he made that didn't work. You know, and, and nobody talks about all the errors that everybody makes. And I think it's more just continuing to plow ahead. I, I think, you know, I wrote a lot in this book about visioning, and that's really how we work, is, is always by starting with a picture of the end in mind, not by planning outwards from the present, but by actually getting everybody together and deciding what we want to happen writing our preferred feature and, and then going after that. And that's actually a really inverted way. So strategic plan is how you get from where you are to the vision. And I don't really understand ever having gone to business school how everybody's writing strategic plans, but they haven't agreed on where they're going. I can't figure that out, but they all keep writing them. But So we really invert that. And I guess what I would say is just I didn't know that in the beginning, and I do know it now. Uh, I'm, it's counterintuitive for me because I'm like the kind of person doesn't I don't want to tell you what I want to do until I know I can do it well. The problem is that it doesn't work really good in leadership. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of like a convert to visioning because I've learned that it really does work. And it's, it's really not unlike writing because it's sort of just getting yourself out of your present day constrictions and going into the future and describing what you want. So our visioning work is very descriptive and it talks about the kind of workplace that we want and how we want the community to think about us and how we want to feel about our work and how big we want to be and, you know, so we've chosen to stay only in Ann Arbor and, you know, it means that it's very clear what we're doing. We were talking uh, over, uh, I think it was, the, was it the fish course, scallop course, I don't know, but anyway, she was saying it seems like you really love your job and I, I really do because I feel really lucky and a lot of that is right now what I want and I'm just going after it. So that's really what I would say is just learning to do vision has made it.